All right. Uh, the complete scoreboard is available at our website, FridayNightThunder.com. We need to go to Michael Hackney. He joins us on the Oak Crest Hotline. Michael Hackney via the Long Distance Hotline. He is calling from Kentucky, the Bluegrass State, as Blackman goes up there and has quite a tussle with uh, Bowling Green. Uh, Michael, give us the highlights of that game. Yeah, it was a tussle in more ways than one. I uh, thought we were going to have a brawl at the end of the first half. There's a lot of trash talking going on. Uh, Blackman struck first, a 37-yard touchdown run for Jawan Jennings. And then later on in the first, uh, Devin Hayes hit Nicarius Fant for an 11-yard touchdown pass to tie things up. And then uh, Bowling Green uh, took the lead on the touchdown and missed their extra point. Uh, and then Blackman... Uh, scored a touchdown and nailed their extra point to take the lead back. Then they kicked a field goal towards the end of the first half. Then the uh, second half started, and uh, Bowling Green went to punt, and the snap went over the punter's head, and he kicked it through the end zone for a safety. Uh, Then Bowling Green scored a touchdown and got the extra point to go back ahead by one. Uh, Blackman scored a touchdown just past the halfway point of the fourth quarter to go up by five. They went for two and failed. Then Bowling Green uh, had a 14-yard touchdown pass from Hayes to uh, Fant again, uh, which was the game winner. They went up by one, went for two. They failed. They didn't need it because uh, Austin Jones, on the very last play of the game, picked off a Jawan Jennings' desperation pass. Uh, Blackman, uh, uh, surprisingly undisciplined in the third quarter. They had a lot. They had four unsportsmanlike conducts called against them, a lot of personal fouls. Uh, I'm sure that'll... um, hype up uh, the home cooking accusations from the Blackman fans. Uh, but, you know, you've got to overcome all of those obstacles. And it was it was pretty fascinating sight to see they got all those penalties and they were still in the game at the end of it. B- Bowling Green comes in winning 38 in a row. Is, are they? How would they do in District 7 AAA, Mike? They'd be pretty good. They would... They would honestly be they would honestly be a threat to at least all of the top four, Oakland, Blackman, Siegel, and Smyrna. Um, I think that they could uh, run over Stewart's Creek this year, Stewart's Creek, uh, Laverne, and I think they'd give Riverdale a pretty hard time, too. I think Bowling Green would do very, very well. Uh, in District 7 AAA. All right, Mike, we are up against a hard, uh, against a hard break, so we need to get off here. Uh, we appreciate you all year long, and uh, look forward to talking to you uh, uh, sometime soon, okay? All right, man, I know softball season's coming up. I'll be hearing a lot from you then, and yeah. I'm uh, looking forward to doing this again next year. All right, call me if you need a, a color guy, okay? Okay, yeah, sure. All right, we'll hey, see. We might actually be able to actually pay you money this time, no more. Who talks about doubling your pay? What's two times zero? Yeah, exactly. Thanks, Mike. We appreciate it. We need to take a break for our stations on the network, including the Middle Tennessee Sports Network. This is Friday Night Thunder.